<laughs> we all have a 1022, and we all love the Ruger 1022 platform. There's millions of them out there. And you probably have one that looks like this. But the fact of the matter is, there are so many aftermarket upgrades for these that you can really change the whole look and feel of the gun. We're gonna bring this old gun and give it some new life, and you're not even gonna recognize it after we're done. Today on BuildBox, it's a Ruger 1022 upgrade. I still say it tastes great. It's less filling, and you're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no, you don't taste this. <laughs> Is he tasting stuff again? Dude, the Annie sees like, again. I just want to know. I got to know. <sighs> I know. All right. All right. We're, we have a theme going this year on this season, prolific guns with lots of aftermarket upgrade parts. I know what it is. 10 million of them out there. I can see it. Starts with a 10, ends with a 22. That's the Ruger 1022. Ruger 1022. The Ruger 1022. Uh-huh. Me first. <laughs> I want this is one. Is every kid's dream, boy or girl. Yes. It is, it's, this is the Red Rider of 22s. It's the like, next correct? step. Yeah, it's, Red it's the most prolific rimfire rifle out there. Right. I mean, it's been continuous production since 1964, and there are a ton of aftermarket parts and ways to upgrade it. Seems and like everyone's making them. Everyone's making them. I mean, talk about all the different uses that you have for a 1022. Well, uh, squirrel hunting, I love hunting. Like, that's my thing, that's my jam. Mm -hmm. um, I remember going out to my grandfather's place and getting turned loose with a 1022 and just Plinking cans all day long, up and down the tree rows. There's, there's not numb. a fence post in Oklahoma that doesn't have a KJ-22 bullet That's in it. That's right. Probably. If you're lucky enough, you <laughs> right. can dig if one I, out. Yeah, if I lived near a fence row, there'd be the same by me. <laughs> right? So, I mean, what other, what would you want to do with a 1022? Well, there's nothing I like more than sitting at a bench with a nice heavy 22 mm -hmm. and just plinking, you know, tiny targets at a distance, really trying to make it work. Yeah. You know, Accurizing these iron it. sights aren't gonna do that for me though. Well, we may have some, what? some tricks up shoot. our sleeve, right? He can shoot, come on. He can shoot. All right, so step one, you're gonna have to take this guy apart because we are starting with a, a gun. I mean, you could go shoot this thing right now and have right. fun. Right, be Don't. blast. We gotta do, we got work to do. But right. the problem is, so Ryan, I'm not gonna lie to you, like I've replaced a trigger in these, but I have not broken it down, replaced, Bolt, I, I haven't done any of that. They can well, be difficult to clean even. I have I have a guest coming by, surprise guest, Another gonna one. help you guys out. All right. Another one? And, uh, and also, Sweet. if you have trouble taking this apart, when in doubt, use a bigger hammer. Never I'll wanna, definitely use a bigger hammer. <laughs> never want to see a gunsmith work on see, your gun. I'm not scared to break guns down and put them back. It's just a little intimidating that first time. Well, yeah. But dude, it's I'm gonna tell you first. what, First thing that sticks out in this box, other than that gun, oh. is this stock. Very, very cool. Jay. This is one of, this is chassis. new. This is all yeah. new and exciting. And I've not got a chance to work with one of these yet, but mm. you know, Mark Roth designed it and Randy Luth is selling it oh. and it dude, is that's neat. Awesome. All right, okay, next, dude. Tandem cross. The tandem cross ferry has come. And in a big way, I'm gonna tell you right now. Tandem in cross. In a huge way. Makes a lot of Jeez. 22 parts. Look at all this. Aftermarket, look at that. That's crazy. This alone is the whole bolt system. I see you. That's not what that is. That's totally what it is. This but is... we got two of them, which is awesome. Oh man, these are, these are joined magazines. There you go, rotary magazine. Right, the rotary magazines, it but they don't even come apart, which is cool, so you don't have to worry about losing one or the other, yeah. or buying one and then having to buy another, yeah, I guess. that's awesome. Dude, barrels, looks like we've got a bull barrel, we've got a tapered barrel. Okay, two profiles, both from Faxon. Yeah, And I mean, decisions to be made. They are you know? quality machinists. Yeah. I have never shot a Faxon barrel. Really? Yep, just so You're you know. missing out, you're missing out. All right, so good things come in plastic boxes, right? Small plastic cigars, boxes. Cigars, there should right? be a couple cigars in there. <laughs> no, 
Dude, PWS BDE 22 suppressor, and what 22 is not complete without a suppressor? The I'm only thing you. more fun than shooting a 22 is shooting it suppressed. Hell yeah. Dude, this is Hell awesome. Yeah. This, we got a lot to do. First thing, let's break it down. I'll pull stuff out of the box. I'll get tools. Yep. Build Box, brought to you by Wheeler Tools, EOTech, and Timney Triggers. All right, they have like super welded it in there or something. Like this something's. Thing. This is a Something's great, a miss. This is a great job for this vice. All right. For, so why you got that? I'm gonna put that against uh, the front sight, and we're gonna okay, use okay, the hard okay, okay. end of this hammer, and we're gonna try not to hit the back sight. So help me if you hit my finger. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. No so, marring. Very easy. Just a little jarring. We're good to go there. Such a poet. All Such right, so give writer. me that lower receiver. Okay. Now, I'm, gonna... I'm giving you this, and we seem to be taking a lot of stuff and moving it to the side that we are not gonna keep. What actually are we keeping on this 1022? Wow. Well, the only thing we're gonna keep on this is the receiver the itself. The again? Yeah, so I'm gonna bring out the do <laughs> my not, handy dandy do we armor's have, kit. like an actual like armor's block? This is probably the first time I've ever had to really knock pins out of a 1022. These okay. are actually fit really well. Right. Push them through, out the other side. Should we have out. replacement pins for these. These are the tandem cross pins. They're enhanced, and they have a little detent. But normally, oh, these, small. normally these pins just fall right out when you take this apart. So right. hey, that, look at that. So again, out. setting another. And we got the. So that's what we're replacing with. The, yeah, and, it, and this is a better. Magazine release, this has a bolt release and okay. everything. So All this right. is so, so much better. Again, another part that we're moving to the side. All right, so to get this apart, we gotta pull this little rod out of the back here. Now this is probably metal. This is a, a newer model 1022, okay, but we gotta get this. I'm getting you a block. We gotta take this buffer out of the back, but we're gonna replace that with this rubber one because then when the bolt slams back, the bolt is slamming back into rubber okay. rather than metal. Hey guys, guess who's here? What? Uncle Randy, Randy here. here. Hey KJ, what's Chris, up? Good to see you. How you been? Good to see you. Hey, Dude. excellent. Good to so see you guys. Good to see you. What are you up to? Well, we're doing a 1022 build. I'm learning a ton and I'm learning what we need to switch out, what we don't. And honestly, we're getting pretty close to stocks. So that's kind of where, man, I'm glad you showed up because now, I got the expert well, and one of the guys behind the MCA-22. So the Ruger 1022, as we know, is probably the second most popular rifle on the planet. I'm an AR-15 guy, right? Former Breach. founder, DPMS, mm -hmm. Luth AR for accessories. So with our success that we had with our MBA 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 stocks, we teamed up with good friend Mark Roth and we uh, co-developed yeah. the MCA-22 to fit onto a standard Ruger 1022. So the benefits, as you can yeah. see, are that it's 30% uh, glass filled polymer. Well, so I couldn't see that, but I know what it looks like and it looks tactical, which is 90% of our effort. And about two pounds, really? so it's similar to the wood stock, but you've got the versatility of the butt stock, which gives you length of pull from gotcha. about 11 inches to 16 inches. That's short. You put oh. a scope on it, you got the cheek piece adjustable as well up to about an inch or so. It looks easy to adjust too. It's like, I like the big knobs. I like the adjustability on gear that. Gear knobs, you yeah. bet. Yep, extruded gear knobs, aluminum, aluminum post on the length of pull. Pistol grip or the grip style, vertical. It's, it's more, more vertical, so. more, mm -hmm. it's definitely yep. more modern. It's a modern way of shooting. It's very modern, rather than, it, it is. Rather than this guy right here, you know, no length of pull adjustments here. A little bit of an old school shooting 
and platform. ambidextrous. That's so true. Th there's a lot of uh, texturing on the grip. Put a little flag on there. It looks yeah. pretty cool as well. One piece screw, drop in. And then we've got M, M, uh, M lock slots. Yeah. We've got some, uh, some cups for your sling swivels. Yep. We have one other feature that makes this chassis extremely versatile. So I got the upper receivers done. I got the action in, the new bolt, the new good? charging handle. That's good. I got the little bumper in. But Randy, you still have not told me what makes this more versatile. Like, please, with the interruptions. You're I, right. I haven't, but here it is. The chassis also comes with a removable insert. There's two types okay. of barrels. Basically, there's a tapered barrel and there's a bull barrel. Let me see that. Hey. So by removing that insert, Chris, you can okay. either put in the yeah. taper barrel or a bull barrel. So it's got everything. The cool thing is it's Whoa. already set up no, 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 for no. my vision. Well, Look you have at that. we have two different visions here because that's gonna be a bull barrel. And I remember you specifically saying, you said this, you said, I love to sit behind a bench with a heavy 22. Well, there's nothing I like more than sitting at a bench with a nice heavy 22 mm -hmm. and just plinking. You're right, but this one, I was envisioning this tapered barrel, because look at look how short and it's nice compact package. Yeah, but that's it's not like what it's weight. for. Like, like that vertical grip to me just means accuracy and there's no little reason. Little kids shooting it though. You want oh, little kids? Kid. Yeah. I, see, yeah. a yes. I, want, I see a bipod right there. I want your opinion. This stock was not made for little barrels. This stock yes. is made for bull barrels. Bull barrel. That real men Put shoot. It in. Uncle Randy has spoken. Bull barrel is where it's at. Give them the bull. Heavy bull barrel works with this chassis. Randy, it is look, fabulous. It's there's balanced. a bipod over there specifically for shooting prone. Uncle sure. Randy, Uncle Randy has spoken, and right. I'm giving it a try. That's dang right. And you know what? It's one thing. It's build, box, bull. I'm out of here. But Uncle he, Randy has spoken. He, he has spoken. He Why did he have to leave? He's <laughs> like, I want a little bit more help with this. Dude, look at that. I'm telling you, it looks good. Next. I, I promise you, when you shoot it, it's going to make all the sense in the world. Next step? Yeah. Is that flat brim is gonna get slapped off your head? I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> no mount way. this barrel to the receiver because Fine. you're right. Because I'm right. You did a good job. All right. Fixture that up into here. Make put sure that's nice gone. For me. All right. I'm gonna put a little lube on the end of this. Don't crush the action. How cool is Randy. <laughs> you know why? Because he's, he's so sided nice. with me. Well, no, that's not why he's cool. He's cool because he's smart. He knows a lot and. He lets us call him Uncle Randy. That is true. But this is going to be tough. He sided now, with me. But this has to be straight, and we got to pound it in. Perfect. Hang I got on, your I block get... ready because you don't use anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that from here, and I'm just actually I'm going to use the hammer because you know they make a rubber end. Okay. Move your fingers. Got to. Got to. I got to see this. Oh, yep. Your. Okay. You're almost there. Am Come I on. there? You're there. Little bit more. And it looks really, really straight. Yeah. To accept the V block. All right, I'm gonna go a little harder hammer. Oh gosh. You there? You're there. All right. Okay. Let's get the V block out, and that V block will pull it all together. All right. We got an enhanced V block from Tandem Cross. And I'm telling you, that Tandem Cross bolts. ferry is amazing. I'm gonna put a little. I'm gonna put a little lube on these. Okay. Why are you putting lube on them? Just to make it go in a little easier. A lot of people ask, what are polymer stocks made from? 
And in this case, with the Luth AR MCA-22, we chose to use the material that the U.S. government uses in the M16, which is a 33% glass-filled material. This material obviously has been proven in military, extremely strong, extremely durable, and in this case, for your Ruger 1022, it will be a great improvement. Build Box, brought to you by Tandem Cross. Primary Weapon Systems. And Ballistic Advantage. All right, hand me that bipod real quick. There we go. Dude, we're so close. The rail oh. is torqued. Yeah. Hey guys. What's up? Dude, progress. Timing is I everything like and you're always on time. <laughs> I always show up when all the work's done. Yeah. That's it's the way amazing. I do it. It's amazing yeah. how you do Actually, that. Actually, it really is close to finished. I'm just putting this trigger in and I am going to comment on the trigger because Okay. All right. Tell me number about it. number 1, it's got a really great trigger press. I love the 1022 triggers cuz they're a pack. You know, it's two pins they go in. You generally get an enhanced magazine That's release. That's a big deal because the controls that come on a regular 1022 kind of a little bit strange, maybe harder to run. This is nice. So yeah, we, and, and there's a bolt catch that when you pull the bolt back, it lets it go forward. You don't have to fiddle with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice cool. and easy, easy to do. Got a bipod put on here from Warren. And it, this I know it doesn't good. look like much. It looks like we're not close. It kind of looks like you're not close, but I know that actually all you have to do, Chris, is drop this into the stock. Yeah. Two pins and a screw away. Yeah. Yeah, well, then guy. there's that box that you have this there. A, that's a good point to be made. Even if you only took your 1022 out of this stock and put so it on this stock, it's easy. Now you have adjustability, yeah. and it was one screw. Yeah. It's really, it's very easy it's, to do. It's an inexpensive fix to make your gun look tactical. Yeah. And like, like you guys were talking about, I mean, just more adjustability. Yeah. All right. So I did bring you a scope. I got an EOTech Voodoo 1 to 6. Dude, that's gonna fit perfect. It's gonna be just right. It's gonna, dude, that is going to be perfect. I mean, that looks great. Yep. It's backwards. You never, like, have seen you these notice? scopes? You didn't see these scopes before? <laughs> Aim small, make small, man. That's a new thing. You, you gotta get small. All right. Uh, Chris, you help him. Uh, <laughs> what? Well, I, I need it. I wanna, yeah. I wanna shoot this, so let me know when it's done. Yeah. All we'll, right. We'll come and get you. Perfect. All right. For once. Good. He's not going to be like waiting to steal it off the table. I know, right? Well, because we're almost done. Brother, we got a little bit. Do you mind if I do this? Please go for it. That's cool. Right? Let's take it to the range. If your 22 rifle just isn't accurate or it's not reliable, sell it to me. I'll take it. Actually, 22s can be a little finicky and there's a wide variety of ammo out there. So here's the secret tip. You go buy a bunch of ammo and you shoot your gun and it's not really that reliable or it's not that accurate, try different ammo. It really is true and it can make a big difference. Once you find the ammo that your gun likes and shoots reliably, now go buy a bunch of it. Uh -huh. What do we got? All right, I've got a great small target shooting range down there. Where'd you get that sucker? From your office. Man, I wish you would have pulled it from your office because that's exactly what I have down there. The cool. pina coladas are awful, so they make way better targets. The pina coladas are my favorite. No, they're horrible. Oh, they're horrible. That only belongs in a drink, man. I got two mags loaded. That's what it was up. designed for. All right, so we've got some steel, we got some suckers down there, very small targets. I know you've been shooting it already with a bunch of different ammo. I zeroed which is it awesome. in, and honestly, it likes them all. It likes them all. Okay, yeah. all right, because 22s are finicky about their ammo. All right, no ears, because we got the PWS BDE no suppressor need. on there. All right. So the, the suppressor's super quiet. 
Oh yeah. Super quiet. I couldn't even hear you out here shooting it. Oh really? I'm glad I came out when I did. All right, here yellow target. All right, yellow target. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. It Double. runs. It yeah. runs. This is perfect. This is what we were looking for. And really, the only thing we kept on this thing was the receiver. That's a right? that is absolutely 100% true. When you look at this gun, the only thing original left is the receiver, but that's all that really matters. And that's what's so cool mm -hmm. about these 1022 builds is you can do so much and all you really had to do is keep your receiver. Right. And you, I mean, you could have gone with a little thinner profile barrel. Yeah, we could have changed barrels. I, li I like I like the bull barrel though. It's all right. fun. All so right. let's get on with the fun stuff. Oh, Start yeah. with that red sucker down there. It's probably cherry or watermelon. Oh, I like the red ones. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to aim and... <laughs> Dude, Dude, I'll tell you, it that, works. It that works. Is, that's that the, so this one, and it's accurate. I like that. You know what? I like the bipod on it. I like the stock. The stock makes it look good. It's functional. Right. I got it set up for us. I got it pulled all the way out. Yep. You know, we get little kids shooting with us. We'll shorten it up for them. But yeah, man, between the suppressor, the bipod, and the bipod does work really nice. It's very and the one to six. Look at that. The one to six works too. The voodoo. Voodoo nice. optics. It looked like it was going to be a little tactical for me, but honestly, it matches this, this setup really good. They're shooting without me? Did you hear something? What? I'm gonna lock them out. Ah, let's just finish it out. <laughs> this is too <laughs> much fun. Oh, who cares? Oh. Nice. Oh, yeah. Beautiful job, man. We did it. This thing is a dream to shoot. She rocks. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to guntalk.com, guntalktv.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.